Today on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series, the racing and points battles tighten up in upstate New York. Will the T-Train Tucker Hibbert keep a rolling? Will first-year phenoms Tim Tremblay and Danny Ebert continue to ride the new wave of racing? Talk about G-forces. Garth the G-Man Kaufman defies gravity, flies into orbit, but lands without impact. Host Misha Johnson finds out about his soft landing. Much more than the rocket's red glare, it's the Slednecks getting big air. Hang on as the Monster Energy Slednecks Invasion Tour fires up another show. He's only a high school senior, but today Logan Christian turned pro, and his long day at the races may be one for the record book. Later, go behind the scenes at the Monster Energy Mobile Unit. It's home on the road for these ladies who love snowcross and high-octane fun. And father knows best, Tucker Hibbert's dad Kirk, himself a great racer, shares souped-up snowcross secrets and more. It's time for the Eastern Nationals at the Finger Lakes Racetrack in New York as the green flag flies on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, and we are here in beautiful upstate New York for the Eastern Nationals. Now, the racing is definitely heating up as everyone is battling to be the points champion. So let's hear from the riders who are in the thick of things to be number one. Well, we got a uh, three race uh, weekend out here in New York, uh, New Hampshire, and then Ontario. So it's it's a big, uh, you know, a lot of points can be made. and. Uh, you know, we're looking to get back into the position to take a points championship and, and see where everything shakes down at the end of the year. Ross Martin and Tucker are pretty good. They're pretty much the, buy, the guy to beat on the track, and that's what I said. Like, I just want to be with them. Are you getting nervous, or are you like, oh, this is Tucker's last race. I'm not nervous a bit. Oh, uh, you know, I guess you never know with him. Sometimes it is his last race, and sometimes he just keeps going. But uh, whatever it may be, I just keep uh, going away at race after race and uh, kind of just keep staying real consistent and try and win a couple here. Well, I'm just, I guess, ready to take a little break. It's been uh, it's been a really good season so far. We've been doing, doing really well and had a lot of success, had a lot of fun, but it's time to uh, move on, I guess. I'm going to start racing uh, motorcycles this summer, so i got to start training for that. Interesting words from Tucker, but right now we're going to our announcers in our broadcast booth to get their words on this weekend's racing. Thanks, Misha. Mike Schroeder along with former racer Paul Mack at the Eastern Nationals. Look at that points battle. Is that tight or what? Look at Martin and Hibbert, 179, Davis 145, Malinowski 139. It doesn't get any closer than this. You know what? It's going to be determined here, though, this racetrack. It's rather tight. Let's take a lap around it and show people exactly some tight spots here. Right now, Logan Christian's got the Motocom helmet cam on. Coming across our finish line, they were going into turn one. Here's where it's key. You want to get set up just a short little shoot between one and two. You can make a lot of passing. You're getting on the inside of two before you square up for three. And it's another short shoot out of two. Here's where I think a lot of action is going to be, and that's in turn three as they head into that U.S. Air Force flyaway section. And as we say all the time, rhythm is key. Without rhythm, you're not going to make any time on that backstretch. They'll come out of four and five, make the turn for the Amsoil finish line. Now you're wondering what's the course like for these riders out here? I'm going to show you right now. If you look where I'm standing here, you've heard of quick sand. This is quick sugar. I mean, you just go right down six, eight inches. There's no traction. So what that means is no traction. Why is there no passing? You come into the corner, you brake late, you grab the brake, pitch the rear end around, you think, I'll just get on the throttle and go right by him. You get on the throttle, remember what I said? Quick sand, quick sugar, same result, no traction. You don't go anywhere in this stuff. The Eastern Nationals brought to you by Tyson Foods, all part of the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. Well, we're in pro stock qualifying. Round one, heat one. Macker, let's kick it off. I absolutely love it because you never know what to expect. Now remember, we've had a week off at the race now. Has anybody done their homework? Is anybody really ready for that man right there, Tucker? Are they coming in for extra credit? Let's find out if the homework's done. Well, they're just about ready to go green. You see as Doug Morrissey drops the green flag, off they go. Steve Taylor on the number two skidoo out of Warnett Racing takes the whole shot and he will take the lead. 
Boy, he absolutely drilled him. Look at Tucker's back there. What is that? Uh, six I've got him back there at. He's way back there. But Taylor having a problem. He pulls off to the side of the racetrack, and now Zach Patton on the number 99, Artie Cat out in front. You know, bad break there from him. You see that the headlight's on? He's moving under power. It isn't a drivetrain issue or anything. Bad break for him. Great run for Patton. Well, Zach Patton out in front, right behind him. Danny Ebert lurking in third. Key train, Tucker Hibbert. Danny going, uh oh, I should have known better. I've raced against him, I've practiced with him. Don't give him that line, but yet he's holding on right now. Boy, you give him the inside line, that is the absolute last thing you want to do. You gotta force him outside at any cost. Well, that's exactly what happened. Danny got forced outside, allowing Tucker to get around. So now Hibbert slots into second. It's still Zach Patton out in front, Tucker Hibbert in second, Danny Ebert, but the Swede, Emil Oman, on the Warner Skidoo, now sitting in fourth. Check out the super Swede of speed, man. He is moving. He's reeling in, Danny. Well, speaking of reeling in, T-Train on his own mission as he makes up some distance between him and leader, Zach Patton. Patton still out in front, but T-Train on the charge. Boy, one thing again, though, if you're Patton, remember, guard the inside, guard the inside. Well, you see T-Train working outside there as they come back into another corner as he switches back and he will make the pass. He now gets around Zach Patton. So it is Hibbert, Patton, and Evil Oban also taking and working in that battle. Here's the pass on Check Patton. It out. See how he landed off camera, meaning on his right side. Most of the impact was on the right side. That scrubbed off so much speed momentum for Patton. That opened the door for Tucker on the outside. All right, so we work back up front. Still Hibbert out in front. Let's watch as the action picks up here again. And Emil Oman has snuck around. And look at this. Talk about sneaking around. He gets around our leader. Oh, I love it. That doesn't happen very often. I guarantee you, Tucker's singing. How, where did that come from? Well, he goes back underneath, and, and they're switching places. Just like the time of day here, Omen out in front, here comes Tucker again. Check it out, they're taking turns on who has the inside line. Whoever has the inside line so far has made the pass. Emil coming back down. Now he doesn't have the good position here. T-Train on the inside. Look at Omen trying to ramp around the outside, cutting back underneath, drag place. But is it gonna be Hibbert or is it gonna be Omen? Look at this, switched again to the inside. That's four times they went back and forth, switching the inside. Look at this, inside line of choice. Well, you see those big skis trying to carve through that sugary snow. Omen gets out in front, but then right on the backside, Hibbert lines up, has got a great line back in that Air Force flyaway section and makes the pass on the number 27 Skidoo. Boy, you better give Emma Loman some credit there. How many people have we saw do that to Tucker? Not very many. Well, checkered flag is out. Tucker Hibbert will take the win in round one, heat one qualifying of Pro Stock. Emma Loman in second, Ebert in third. You know that sled's running well today as it has all year long? Somebody special works on that, and he is with Misha Johnson. So, Kirk, here we are in upstate New York. Talk a little bit about what you guys have done to Tucker's sled. Well, for this weekend, uh, we're just starting to, to get to the adjustments, but one thing we'll be looking at here is, uh, you know, some suspension adjustments every week, and that is a little bit off of snow conditions is what drives that more than anything. Uh, Man-made or real snow, which, you know, for here we've been entirely on man-made snow, but how long that snow's been made and sitting and what the temperature was when they made it and also the temperature of race day makes a big difference on what we set up for in the trailer here. Still ahead, the mod sleds are rumbling in the pro open class. It's go cat go as Team Arctic Cat claws away at the competition. Find out how the G-man Garth Kaufman walked away from this airborne adventure. From high school to the big time in a day, spend some time with 17-year-old Logan Christian. Logie's riding hard in his pro debut. But first, check out what the racers like to view off the track as we hear about their favorite flicks at the movie theater. Favorite movie would have to be The Rock. A little bit older, but I enjoy watching that one. It's pretty good. Uh, any Adam Sandler movie, probably Billy Madison. I like that show, it's funny. Happy Gilmore. I'm a big dork, I'm kind of a Harry Potter fan, so, so there you go. Maybe, how about Rudy? It's about the little people like me. <laughs> <laughs> the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series is brought to you by Amsoil, Parts Unlimited, Skidoo, and by Caterpillar.